Welcome everyone. There are three ways to access deleted photos. The first way is inside of the Photos app. I want you to tap on the Albums button here. And then you're going to scroll all the way down. And just check if you have this recently deleted option. If you do, tap into it. And you may have your photos or videos which you deleted stored right here. So you're just going to tap on the select option and then you should see recover, tap on recover, recover again and hopefully you can do the easy way where you have recovered your deleted photo and after recovery it will be in the library or the recent album. If you don't have that photo in recently deleted, let's check the iCloud. So we're going to open up the settings app. And at the very top, you should see your name. If you don't, you will need to look for an iCloud option and you may need to scroll down to find this. And so once you tap on your name, we then see iCloud. So let's tap on iCloud and you can see photos right here. So inside of the photos, if sync this iPhone is turned off, turn it on and see if the photo which you deleted or the videos etc come back. So turn on sync this iPhone and then close out of the photos app, reopen the photos app and it may take a couple of minutes but you may see your photo show up or the videos you deleted. If you turn off the iCloud photos just note that if you select remove from iPhone the photos which are saved in iCloud will still stay there. Okay, but if iCloud Photos is already on, turning it off and back on will not find the deleted photos. As when you delete a photo on your iPhone, if it syncs with iCloud, it will also remove the photo from the cloud. So the last way is we will need to use a computer and we will need to use data recovery software. So the software is free to see which photos were lost, but in order to recover them, it will cost money. So that is something to just keep in mind. But if these photos are valuable, if you want access to them, then data recovery is best. So I'm gonna to move to the computer and uh, let's go to the next steps. So the software we want to use is the EaseUS data recovery software. So make sure you select for iOS if I don't have a link in the description, you have to go to this website you see on screen because uh, I may forget to add the link. And so we have the Windows, the free and the free Mac version. So you can scan all the files, see what's available. And if there is what you need, you may need to buy the Pro Edition. You may be able to get away with a free trial, but I cannot guarantee that the free trial will recover everything. So let's download the version for our operating system. And you can see it's going to download. And once the file is downloaded on the Mac, we just drag and drop the app into our applications folder like this. On Windows, there'll be some on-screen instructions you need to follow. And once we've done this, we just need to open up the EasyUS Mobi Saver, and you can see this prompt. Just click on Open, and the EasyUS Mobi Saver will now open up. So the next step is we will need to connect our iPhone to the computer. So you will need the charging cable, and you will need to connect to the computer. So I'm going to do that one now. Once the iPhone is connected. You see on the EaseUS, it wants us to unlock the phone. So just bring your iPhone to the home screen and then tap on the trust message. And then we can see our device is connected and we can click on start to recover. So let's click on start and you can uh, select the type of data you would like to recover. In my case, I just want to recover photos. So to speed up time, I'm going to turn off all of these options here and just have photo selected and then let's click on next. So now it's going to prepare for recovery 
and it's going to find all of your deleted photos. There is no 100% guarantee that it will recover your deleted photos, but it is worth trying because the worst case is nothing is found, but using this software, it will try and look at the deleted storage. As long as it's not overwritten, you have your photo safe. So let's wait for this analyzing to complete. Once the process has completed, we can see all of our photos here. So if you click on this, you will see your deleted files. Now, I personally have not deleted anything from this iPhone, so I see nothing. Hopefully, your deleted photos will show up, and by clicking this, you'll be able to view all of the photos. And you do have the option here, recover to PC or recover to device. And so I do recommend you use recover to PC first, and then recover to device if you would like to later. Again, you are limited on a free trial, but if your photos and videos were found successfully, I would recommend paying for the full software because clearly it has found the deleted photos and videos, and so it would be best to recover them. With that being said, if you would like to help support the channel, please do check the description. Bye-bye.